Hello Fernhill Sixth Form and welcome to this little video about life in the Sixth Form um, from September until at least the October half term. I hope you're all well and I look forward to seeing you all very soon whether it be on results day for the year 11s that many many of you are going to go into year 12 so um, looking forward to seeing uh, the vast majority of year 12s at year 11 results day. Um, certainly also looking forward to seeing everyone else at the start of term. Uh, this video today is to help help you to understand what's going to be the norms, uh, how things are going to work in the sixth form during the, the first part of the autumn term at least. Um, for Fernhill students there's going to be a letter that accompanies this video so anything that's not covered uh, in sufficient detail for you have a look at the letter and if you're still not quite sure then, then uh, send me an email. But hopefully between this video and the letter uh, that will be coming out via school comms, you should feel very confident about the start of the autumn term. Um, for Highfield students, certainly the year 12 Highfield students, I'm going to be meeting with you on Friday the 4th of September at 2.30 in the afternoon. Um, so there's an opportunity there for us to just sort of go through some of the finer points if needed. And the few students in year 13 at Highfield who are taking some subjects at at uh, Fernhill and um, hopefully this video will be sufficient if not please um, send me an email uh, just just uh, following on from that the year 12 who are, who are the Fernhill students I'm going to be seeing you for the induction uh, on Friday the 4th of September as well and that will be from 8 30 until 11 o'clock so um, again you guys as well are not only getting a letter with additional information on this but I will see you at that induction um, to uh, answer any questions and things like that. What's changing then? Well, the school is going to be broken down into zones and each year group is going to be allocated a zone. Um, and it's really important that, that as a year group, year 12, year 13, as a sixth form, we stick to our zone. Um, and it's important that we understand how that's going to work. So I'm going to start off by just showing you a map of the school. Now, there's far too much information on this map for it to be of any benefit to us uh, for the couple of minutes I'm going to put it up. But it is helpful if we look at the purple bit, because the purple bit relates to the, um, the zone for the sixth form. Um, sometimes you might have heard the word, you know, bubbles, um, bubbles and zones, much of, much of a muchness. I'm going to refer to, to, to the... <laughs> to, uh, I'm going to use the terms uh, zones um, throughout the remainder of this little video. So year 12 and year 13, um, we do have around about 20% access in the school to uh, about six different rooms. Um, and it's really important that when we come back in September that we do not move away from the purple areas. Um, so start September, enter the school through the main entrance, take a left, go down towards the dining room. When, when getting close to the dining room, we don't go all the way because we enter a different zone um, that is not uh, the zone that we should be in and um, there's zero flexibility around sort of going across zones. So uh, we will enter the sort of teaching and learning part of the sixth form zone through the common room door. Um, and in there will be where all lessons take place for the first half term at least. Just one thing to mention, um, on, the, on the picture here you can see that there, there are two toilets um, that are kind of coloured peach and they are just sitting on top of the dining room. Um, they are going to be the toilets that are used by the sixth form as part of the zone, so those will be in bounds. But apart from that, um, you can see the areas that we've got. Uh, private study, I'll just mention that area that you can see um, in the sixth form zone. Private study has actually got two rooms. The first little room, which is closest to the sixth form common room, is called private study, the private study room, so that's quite easy to remember. But the actual room uh, where it says private study, that's, that's, that is still private study, but it's known as the quiet study room because traditionally that's, that's always where work must be completed quietly. Okay, so what next? Well, we're going to go through a kind of um, a virtual tour of the purple zone 
so that you get a better understanding of how things will work from the start of September. So when I, I show this little video, I'll kind of talk over the top. If you want to make any notes, do. As I say, for the Fernhill students, there'll be more details in the letter about this. Um, but, you know, if, if it helps, make some notes as we go along. So this is the entrance to the school. Uh, and as you can see, there's some sanitizer on the table. So that would be where you sanitize uh, and give your hands a good scrubbing, first of all. In we go, let's chuck a left. So when this video was made, the school isn't set up quite yet for the, um, the zones as it will be in September. But sure enough, we're walking along the corridor uh, towards the dining room. There's a table, that table kind of marks that's the end of our zone. Uh, and we wouldn't go any further, but we would turn right, go through the doors and into the teaching and learning sixth form zone area. In we go, um, there are the sign in folders. There's one for the Burnhill students um, and one for the Highfield students. Um, then we've got teaching area number one. So this area that's just disappeared, that will be used by a few subjects. And there's another little teaching area there that we may use. We may not, it's still to be decided. And um, so there's two potential teaching areas in the common room. Uh, going through the doors, so these are the two toilets that I was referring to. These are the toilets for sixth form students and are part of the zone. So back past teaching area one, um, probably going to be used by the subjects where there are more students. Um, and just past teaching area two, the little table that we may or may not use. Uh, and into private study. So here we go. Um, there's a little area there with the table and a little area there with another table. There are potentially two little teaching areas here for very small groups. So some subjects have small numbers and it's not, not unreasonable to think that uh, one or two lessons uh, couldn't take place in there. So through the doors again there'll be sanitising stations everywhere into the second private study room which is called quiet study. Um, this will be used as a holding area, so I'll speak a bit more about uh, what a holding area is. Sorry about the rubbish in the bin there. There's Reaper Graphics, so that's quite noisy. That's one reason why we're not going to make the quiet, quiet study room um, probably a teaching area. Um, just something to be aware of, this notice board is really, really good because it's got lots of stuff about independent study. Um, so if you're stuck, you've done all your psychology work and you're thinking, right, I've got another half hour, um, what can I do? That's very handy. Right, so through we go to the library, through the door, um, and here we've got um, some whiteboards and a computer and potentially another teaching space. So that may well be used, tables will be laid out differently, um, that would be another teaching space. To the back of the library, so past the librarians, um, and this again could be a holding area, um, which I'll talk about at the end of the video. Uh, through we go to I3, which is a computer room, and this is another teaching space. So in total, there's, in the sixth form zone, there's, uh, I think, six rooms. And, um, is that right? Uh, yeah, let's just be clear on that. So in total, there are uh, one, two, in fact, five, five rooms as part of the sixth form zone. Um, just going back to the map, so you've got the common room, you've got the private study, little room, quiet study, library, and I3. Um, and I mentioned two holding areas just during the uh, walkthrough video. The holding areas will be available for students who have an hour between two lessons. Um, now, for the most part, we want students to go off site as soon as their lesson is finished and really only to be on site for their lessons, certainly for the first half term. School won't be starting at 8.30, it will be starting at 8.50, apart from that first induction day for the year 12s, which will start at 8.30. But after that, first half term, um, start time will be 8.50 when lesson one begins. Um, if you don't have a, a lesson period one, then I wouldn't expect to see you. Um, you come in for your lessons, you enter through that common room door into the teaching and learning area, um, 
and the holding areas, as I say, are for students who only have an hour uh, to wait until their next lesson and don't really want to leave the building um, because you know they've got a lesson very soon. Um, those two holding areas will probably have a capacity of six students in each of those two areas. So if, for example, you wanted to be in a holding area and there was already six students, you would have to go off site and sign out. Um, so there we are, there are the rooms that make up the, uh, the sixth form zone, the sixth form bubble. Um, what, one other thing to, to point out is that it's really important that uh, you arrive just before periods are about to begin, not five or ten minutes before and not late, because as soon as a, a lesson starts, um, you could have up to two lessons in the sixth form common room. You should not be disrupting lessons. You should be literally entering the common room um, at, m at most about three minutes before your lesson is about to start. A, a good question to ask right now: How do I know exactly where my, you know, where my maths lesson is going to be? Um, well, that information will be shared with you um, before the first day of term. So you will have that information, whether it be through the um, Year Twelve induction. Uh, um, uh, the, the, the induction provision that will take place on Friday the 4th of September or for the year 13s it will probably just be um, a diagram on the door to the common room probably something like that so that you can see exactly where your lessons are going to be based. Teachers go to you much more than you go to classrooms and teachers as is the no normal way of doing things. So that's really the key information um, as I say, Year 12 and 13 Fernhill student, look out for the letter that's going to come your way very soon um, so that you understand uh, exactly what's going to be happening. Um, I look forward to seeing the Year 12 um, Highfield students that are going to be having some lessons with us Friday the 4th at 2.30. Um, uh, and that is just about, I think, everything that needs to be covered. Um, so that just leaves me to say have a really really good summer um, and I look forward to seeing you either on results day or on September the 4th or the 7th. Thank you very much, see you soon, bye bye.